Hi, and welcome back. This is step three in working with basic bottom-up assemblies in Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to add more components. In this case, we'll add all of the spacers, the gripper, and the pivot block. We'll also reuse the knowledge we learned from the previous step and create various axis on axis constraints and plane on plane constraints. Let's see how it all works. Okay, to get this next portion of the tutorial started, let's include the base spacer by using the same drag and drop technique as before. If you're just picking up the tutorial again from earlier, be sure that you have include and last positioning activated. We want all of these parts included into the same positioning group. From here, what we're going to do is again use the automatic wizard and add that cylinder to that cylinder. That'll create an axis on axis constraint. From there I'm going to rotate, grab this, to that face. Perfect. That leaves us a degree of freedom still. From here I'll validate out of the positioning and move on to the next part which is the Nero spacer. So I'm going to go here to Nero spacer, drag and drop include that. I can take that cylinder to that cylinder, click and drag to hold it up. I'm going to rotate it, grab that planar face to this planar face, all is good. Now, I need to have another narrow spacer just like this over here. So I'm going to use something cool. It's Windows Control Drag and Drop. This will allow me to copy a component. So watch. I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard, left click and hold, and drag a copy of that component. Now I can go ahead and apply the two constraints I need here. As well, I'm going to use Rotative Selection to grab that plane versus rotating the model to grab the plane. Rotative selection is used by holding your left mouse button down and then tapping your right mouse button to select through all of the possible selections. Perfect. Now that we have that one added, let's go ahead and add our center spacer. So I'll go ahead and include that. Again, cylinder to cylinder, planar face to planar face. And finally, let's go find our pivot block as well. So we'll grab our pivot block. I'm going to grab that cylinder there. To this cylinder, we'll grab that planar face to that planar face. Kind of cool. See how it's moving and updating together? And the last thing that we need to add are, of course, the two grippers. So let's go find the grip. Drag and drop include it. We'll go ahead and grab the cylinder to the cylinder. We can bring that up if you want. Let's go ahead and grab planar face to planar face. Spin that around maybe. Hold the uh, control drag and drop. Let's grab that face to that face. This face to this face. And this portion of the tutorial is done. Again, because we're in the same positioning group, we can begin to test these things, which is kind of cool.